lots of bugs. It is almost summertime. That's what that means. I know I gotta clean my window, but I just got going. I'm on my way to Pennsylvania. I just stopped by mom and dad's house or their campsite, their summer house. Had a good meal. And now we're on our way. So we got a late start. It's four or five o'clock in the afternoon here now. And I've got 2,000 to drive to my destination. So we'll do a thousand today, a thousand tomorrow, and we're gonna be doing a lot of night driving. Sorry for the bugs again, but you gotta see this contraption. Look at this thing. Whoo, no, that's an air seeder. That's an air, I hope that's an air seeder or I look pretty dumb right now. That was a nice air seeder. Very nice. If I was a farmer, that's what I would want. Very nice. I will wash my window today yet. I don't know when. But until then, you guys don't mind the bugs, right? It means that spring is here. It's a good sign. Enjoy the bugs. Love the bugs. All right, guys, so we're here at the American border and I'm putting all my cameras away so that <laughs> they don't get the wrong idea again. So that I don't get mistaken for a pervert again like I did the other day. What was it, yesterday? Who uses their cameras for those kinds of things? I'm a YouTuber, isn't that obvious? There's a camera in my truck, obviously I'm just vlogging. But oh well, I'm gonna put you guys away now. We're here at the border station. And I'll talk to you on the other side. If you don't know what I'm talking about just now, go back and watch yesterday's video. On the way into Canada, they misunderstood what my cameras were for. Which is kind of, it kind of made sense. You know, I had a camera mounted on a tripod between my seats here, facing my bed. But, all was good, all was good. They just sort of giggled to themselves after and then I told them about my YouTube channel and hey, hopefully I got some new subscribers. But all cameras are going away now at the border, so I'm putting you down. Welcome to North Dakota, USA. Ah, uh, that was uh, easier than getting into Canada the last time. They just wanted to x-ray my truck, so I had to go through their fancy garage there that x-rays my whole truck. I have to get out with diesel and they... It's like a whole x-ray machine that passes over your entire truck, right? Make sure I don't got any illegal aliens hiding in there. No ET. Okay, now let's go find a place to wash this windshield. <laughs> okay, so we're in Grand Forks, North Dakota. The sun's starting to go down over there. Goody. I really don't like driving into the night, but at the same time, I'm very glad I got to spend time with my family today yet. So, it's so rare already that we all get together at the same time. So that was awesome. So we got about another eight hours, eight, nine hours at least to drive tonight yet. We'll be driving late into the night. So, there won't be much road vlogging tonight when the sun goes down. So, we'll see what this vlog uh, turns out to be. All right, Diesel. You just went outside, didn't you? You feel better? You feel relieved? Oh, much better, man. It's a little warm in here. Could you turn on the AC, please? It is a little warm in here. Let's get it started. Hey, guys, let's hit the road. So we made it to Menominee, Wisconsin. Yeah, I know. You're like, where's the vlog? I couldn't vlog because it was nighttime. The sun went down and it's very hard to vlog when it's just a big sheet of black in front of me. <laughs> Not very enjoyable. And I can't vlog with the camera facing me because I can't have the interior lights on like this while I'm driving. Because obviously, the reflection off the windows is a distraction and it's a danger. I think it's actually illegal to drive at night with your interior lights on, right? You're supposed to pull over before you turn the lights on? Someone tell me what the facts are on that situation right there. But, yeah, I actually spent a good portion of the, the night driving talking. So, uh, on the phone so that always passes the time you know if you got someone you can talk to for a while on the phone on the especially on a night drive it keeps you awake it keeps you alert and uh you know it made the drive today seem a lot faster than it actually was but uh, i didn't get quite as far as i wanted to i wanted to go to black river falls but no i got tired i'm not built for night driving like john you guys know uh the jaden john show right on youtube you can find him on youtube they're friends of mine 
the Jaden John show. They're a husband and wife team driving, and uh, John drives at night. Jade drives during the day, so like the truck's always moving, right? I don't know how John does it. John drives all night, but then again, he does sleep most of the day, so his schedule is built for that, and he's used to that. Me, I'm used to daytime. I like the daytime. Nighttime is so hard for me to stay awake and alert, and I figure, you know what? It's better safe than sorry. I pulled off the road in the rest area. Uh, like I said, Menominee. I said, you know what? Enough's enough. Okay, guys, we just woke up here. I know yesterday's vlog was short and it sucked, so we're tacking on this part of the day to yesterday. Pretty much that just means I'm gonna vlog a little bit today. So we're on the next day now. So it's a little bit of a different kind of vlog. We are in Menominee, Wisconsin, and we're gonna get as close to Pennsylvania as we can today. However, you'll have to wait till tomorrow to see how far we get today. You can see the beginning of the day, but you're going to have to tune in tomorrow for the end of the day. Does that make sense? Whatever. I just didn't want to leave you with such little footage yesterday. So let's get going. You want to see something gross? Hey, I warned you. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. Look at my window. I always laugh when people say in their videos, oh, my window's full of bugs, it's gross. That's not bugs, this is bugs. And this is nothing yet. You just wait for summertime, ripping through Saskatchewan, I'll show you bugs. Remember last year, it caked the front of my truck so that the whole front of my truck was literally black? Literally, like actually, factually, 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 actually, black. That's bugs. You'll see some bugs this year. So we're gonna go down to Black River Falls. We're gonna wash our window there, fuel her up, and continue on down the road. Just going past Wisconsin Dells right now. Very nice. Very nice. Right, Diesel? Very nice. What are you trying to hide from the camera? Get on the camera, man. I don't want to see you. Hey, sit up. Sit up. Sit up. There you go. Look at the camera. Thousands of people want to look at you. Okay, so we missed our stop in Black River Falls because we're brilliant. We're right past. Had our mind on other things. So we're going to stop at the next Flying J, which is South Beloit, Illinois. Just over the line into Illinois. We'll get our fuel there, wash the window. The window's just disgusting right now. What? Why do people stare when they pass? Everybody's always got to see what the trucker looks like. What were you expecting? So, when we stop at Flying J, we're going to get a coffee, uh, fuel. Probably going to end the vlog there in South Beloit and then start tomorrow's vlog. And then tomorrow's vlog will take us through Chicago, through Indiana, and into Ohio. Ohio. I don't know if you can see it right now, but the camera right between my seats there, uh, right here, that's the camera that made the border nervous <laughs> going into Canada of all places. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have it facing my bed like that. Maybe I should you know, face it forward. People think dirty things when I have a camera facing my bed. I guess I'm just innocent enough that I wouldn't think of that. I see a camera, it's not the first thing I think of. Is the world really that bad? Like, has the world gone downhill that much that people right away assume the worst when they see a camera? Like, really? Is there that many perverted people out there that that's all they can think of? Oh, he has a camera. I bet he does dirty things with that thing. What? Okay, guys, so we're here at uh, Road Ranger, if you can see it's past all the bugs. It's a pilot. They got pilot fuel here. Pilot, see? So we're gonna get a pile of fuel here. I was gonna go down to South Beloit, but I forgot about this one here. So I'm gonna get fuel here so I don't have to stop again. I like to get fuel as early as I can in the morning, right? And I don't want you guys to guess how much my fuel is gonna to cost today. Now, the fuel price is $3.95.9 per gallon. I'm guessing I get a five cent discount or whatever. But that's the general area that we're in. I got a quarter tank of fuel left, which means I'm probably gonna take about 170 gallons or so. That's what I'm guessing. And I'm guessing it's gonna be about $700. Or 
What's your best guess? What do you think it's going to be? If you actually get it right, be honest. I guess this won't really work because this goes on the honor system and that never really works. I was going to say, tell me if you were right in the comments, but everyone's going to be like, I was right. I was right. Yeah, sure you were. <laughs> uh. So let's just go ahead and you can guess in your head how much this is going to cost. Judging by past fueling experiences I've had. If you've watched me long enough, this will be easier for you. But, uh... Yeah, let's see how close you are. All right, so we're just gonna get out here and uh, start fueling up. So my video went up today, uh, Beardless Mother's Day. It was the day after I shaved my beard. And those of you who don't understand, a man and his beard share a special bond. One second, let's do this here while I talk. Get in there, get in there. So yeah. I know that's a terrible excuse. You guys are wondering, Josh, why didn't you get your mom flowers? Maybe that's why I'm getting so many dislikes on that video. It doesn't bother me. I'm just kind of curious why. Maybe they didn't like my card I got her. Oh well. Anyways, so we're going to fuel this truck up here and uh, take it from here. Are all the bets on the table? We're at $90. Okay, so we're paying actually $389.9 after our discount. So you see it's full, right? I'm not making this up. You wanna see how well I know my truck? I said 170 gallons, right? I was a little wrong on the price, but I was right on the amount. 170 gallons, exactly. This guy knows his truck. So that's that, guys. Can't believe I actually got that like bang on. <laughs> feel pretty good, feel pretty good. So yeah. Uh, that uh, Beardless Mother's Day video I was talking about before. Uh, you can go back and find it. You'll know what I was talking about. Uh, but, yeah. I think another reason why I was getting so much negative feedback on it was I was chewing gum obnoxiously. I apologize for that. That's not the way I usually chew gum. Maybe it was just because I felt weird without a beard that I was like, just schmuckshing on my gum. Through the whole video. <laughs> I look back at it because I saw all the comments, right? Oh. Close your mouth, Josh. Close your mouth, Trucker Josh. Learn how to chew your gum, Trucker Josh. So, I go back, what are they talking about? Go back, watch the video. Oh, that's kind of gross. So I apologize, that is not the way I chew gum. And I do not promote open mouth chewing of gum. Just so you know. <laughs> You're wondering, what's he talking about? Yeah, go back and watch the video. And uh, it was a week ago, because my videos are a week behind, right? So. That video just came up today for me, and I'm filming today. But we're going to end this day here anyways, because it's been sort of like a two-day day, if that makes sense. We started off yesterday, and now, where are we? Where are we? I'm going to have to write this in my logbooks. i got to know where we are. Where are we, Mandy? We are in Oakdale, Wisconsin. And this is the end of the day for you. But I've still got a lot of ground to cover today yet. So tune in tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central Time here in North America. And we're going to continue our journey and we'll be somewhere in Ohio tonight. So I'll see you then.